Oh gosh. He is tugging. Oh. Wow. Good morning, Beach Bums. Welcome back to the channel. Walking back out to the jetties this morning. I was out here the other day and I missed a pretty good opportunity. I got here a little too late and it seemed like there was a pretty hot redfish bite. So I'm headed back out there. I'm getting out there a little early and we've got similar conditions to the day that I was out here. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe these redfish are coming back through. I brought some bull minnows today. I'm gonna drop them down on a Carolina rig. I was using shrimp the other day and of course everything eats shrimp. So I'm hoping that the bull minnows will be a little more enticing to these redfish and keep the other fish off of it. I'm out of breath already because carrying live bait and two rods and a backpack to the jetties, it's a lot of weight. I brought two rods with me because I've got one rigged up with a spoon just in case I see some schooling fish, bonita, or a school of redfish that's blowing up. Just something that I can throw at them quick so I don't have to re-rig. I've been out here a couple times now and missed opportunities because I try to only bring one rod because it's just cumbersome to bring more than that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. The current is ripping. I've tied on a two ounce egg weight. We'll see. Well, there goes a minnow. See if that'll get the job done. And I've got a bull minnow just hooked through the lips. I've got a two watt VMC circle hook and 50 pound mono for my leader. Let's see if we can get down there and find a red. We've got a lot of dolphins feeding right now, which is definitely not good for business. It's not what we want, but hopefully that two ounce lead will get down quick enough, even with this current. Fish on. Fish on. We got one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what we want. Right there. That was my second drop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it worked. Okay, hopefully he stays on. Okay, this is a good fish. I think we got a red. It's so hard fighting all these freaking jetties with this current oh gosh oh my gosh i need you fish to be a little bit weaker so far we're not hung up in anything fingers crossed that continues using that current that makes this fish 10 times heavier oh my gosh come on Come here, come here, come up. Let me see you, let me see you. There he is, big old red. Oh my gosh, big red, big red, <laughs> nice. Okay, I think we got dolphins moving in on our fish. Okay, come here, landed this does not look easy come on come on big red Woo. all right try to get you in that pocket all right nice oh gosh oh no 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 oh this is this is hard i need help i need help oh gosh Woo. got him got him this this is why I came out here today. Whew, nice red. He's probably about 30 inches. Good, solid fish. Such a hard fight in this current. My goodness, that was my second drop. I knew I had to get out here earlier to catch this bite. This current is ripping, which is what you want, but man, it was such a booger. Beautiful fish. Okay, I've made a position change. This current is just really ripping. So we gotta be able to cast up and then hopefully position our bait in front of us when it gets to about the point where these reds, I think, are stacking up. Oh, 
hook. We're fish on. Let's see if we can keep them pinned. And this current, dang. They hit and swim up and it makes it really difficult, I think, to put pressure on that hook to get a good hook set. So we're gonna try to keep this one pinned. <laughs> I was reeling in to uh, check my bait and the fish was on. He had taken it and swam up the current and it's really hard to feel anything just because of how much water movement we've got. So, and I didn't even know a fish had taken my bait. There he is. I can see him. I know you're looking at the sun. There he is. Come on, buddy. Stay on there for me. There's so much water movement, man. Moving. It's just making life a lot more difficult. Nice little red. This is a good little slot right there, I think. I think he's going to be upper slot. He might be over. Woo. I don't know how well he's hooked. I can't tell. Just want a picture. We're gonna get you back. Oh, 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 oh. Off them rocks, buddy. A net would come in handy. A buddy would come in handy. Everything's a little bit more difficult on the jetties. I don't know if you can see. The sun's right behind me. I'm in a bad position, but I'm doing the best I can filming. <laughs> Trying to land these fish out here by myself. So you may not be able to see this fish. I have no idea. Real nice red. He's probably upper slot or just over. Whew. All right, that was fun. We'll get you back, buddy. See ya. All right, redfish number two for the day. Very difficult filming and fishing conditions on the jetties with the current. It's not easy, but we're getting it done. We're trying to catch some fish, but I, I turned the GoPro off on that one because I was just reeling in. I didn't even know the fish was there because there's just, you can't feel anything. All right, that's two. Let's, let's see if we can get another one. Oh, something's eating them. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. We got him. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, yep, yep. It's swimming up. Golly, there's so much slack every time they eat it. Just catching up to them is ridiculous. Okay, we're hooked up again. Come on. Okay, yeah. You just got to let out a ton of line. <laughs> Let it drift back there. Oh my gosh. And the slack that gets in there is just ridiculous, man. So much current. And I know you're staring right at the sun. I apologize. I mean, I have to reel in so much line before I even catch up to these fish. I got, I got my drag set pretty tight. I'm trying to horse them as much as I can around these rocks. Stay up, stay up. Come here, buddy. Again, don't know how good of a hook set we got. That was a little bit bigger fish. It's got a little more girth to him. Good fish. Oh, man. Don't fail me, hook. Don't fail me. Don't fail me. Ooh, this is the hardest part right here. Oh, this is not easy. I'm like in a very precarious situation. I know you can't see my legs and my feet too well. I can't, I can't tell if that hook. Oh, come here. I just want to touch you. I just want to touch you. Uh, Come here. All right, we got a good hook set. Okay, redfish number three for the morning. I tried to reposition my book bag there so you could see a little bit better. Everything's so hard out here, but uh, nice fish. I'm loving it, man. Difficult conditions, but uh, we're catching them. It's a blast. Thank you, Redfish, we're gonna get you back. The setup I'm using this morning, I've got the Pin Battle 2 4000 with 20 pound braid on my seven foot six St. Croix rod. 
I use this rod for a little, a little bit heavier setup. It's kind of like my upper size setup for inshore fishing for stuff like this. And then I've got a two watt VMC circle hook, real thick gauge. So I uh, want to be able to hang on to those redfish real good. I've got 50 pound mono to a swivel and then a two ounce egg sinker. There we got him. Fish on. Fish on. Come here. <laughs> Man, they get up current so quick. Yep, yep, yep. We got him. We got him. I wasn't sure if I was hung up or had a fish. It feels so weird. Oh, gosh. He's tugging. Oh. Oh, this might be a bigger fish. Might be a bigger fish. Wow. Yeah, this one's pulling some drag. It's swimming around a lot. What are you? Come here. Oh, you trying to go around the wrong way? Come back this way. Come back this way. Oh, he's up top. Oh. Come here. <laughs> I had to turn his head. He's trying to go around those rocks. Dang. Come here. Come here, dude. Whoo, so hard fighting the fish and the current. Feisty fish, man. Good one, good one, good one. Come here. Ah, like a torpedo. It's coming through the water. This one might be the biggest one of the day. Right here, he's uh, he's definitely got some girth to him. Big old head. All right, come here, buddy. Come here. Good fish. Good fish. Oh. Definitely my biggest of the day. Oh, I'm falling down the rocks. Whew, he is a he's a good one pull and drag really awesome fish what a day man stoked to be out here i did invite brant but he uh he turned me down he could have been out here with me crushing them really good fish like a dang torpedo what a blast man thank you fish that was a good one we'll get you back it's always super rewarding to have like a plan and be able to capitalize on that plan and have some success so i'm pretty stoked how this morning went being able to see that uh, redfish bite and then capitalize on it today and don't forget we still are doing a contest right now for a chance to fish with me and brant just send in those impersonation videos if you're impersonating brant send it to me on instagram if you're impersonating me send that to brant on instagram keep it about 30 45 seconds make it funny we're gonna pick our favorite ones we're gonna pick two winners around Christmas time to go fishing with us. Not, not around Christmas time, we'll plan it for later, but we will pick winners around Christmas time and announce that. So be sure to send those in and we'll take a look at them and hopefully you'll get a chance to come fish with us. And uh, I don't know, it'll be fun, we'll film it, have a good time. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and as always, you stay bummy.